Uh, Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, this lecture is a part of the series uh, which is related to linear algebra and we are going to discuss a topic related to vectors today and that is the projection theorem. Uh, actually the projection theorem states that we can uh, decompose a vector u uh, with respect to another vector that is a and a should be non-zero. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, you people are familiar with the decomposition of a vector with respect to the axis that is the y-axis and x-axis suppose this is a vector f and if we draw a perpendicular on x-axis and then y-axis then these components are called this is the x component fx and this component is y that is fy and if the angle between the vector and the x-axis is theta then we know that cos theta is actually base over hypotenuse that is fx over f and we can say that fx equals to f cos of theta and similarly, if we use sine of theta, sine of theta is equals to perpendicular over hypotenuse. So that would be Fy would be F sine of theta. Okay. Uh, you people are familiar with this sort of decomposition. Here we decompose the vector F with respect to the x axis and the y axis. Now, in projection theorem, we want to do the same but now we would decompose a vector u that is a vector u and we would decompose this vector with respect to another vector that is a and here a is non-zero so in the similar fashion uh, we would draw a perpendicular from here and then we will draw a sort of parallelogram like this this would be called w2 and this is w1 okay now here we had fx to be scalar and then fy was <coughs> uh, f cos theta was actually a scalar quantity and then fy was uh, f sine of theta was also a scalar quantity actually these were the lengths that the shadow of this f makes on x-axis and this is uh, the length fy fy is actually the length which the shadow of f makes on y-axis okay now the similar thing is here if we have u then if we place a source of light over here then the shadow of this u would be costed on this vector a and that shadow would be called w1 and the length of that would be called norm of w1 and the shadow itself would be a vector and that would be w1 vector now if you place a source of light over here then the shadow of this uh, vector u would be costed on the, uh, this wall and this wall is actually perpendicular to a or orthogonal to a so uh, this would be uh, another uh, part of the shadow that would be w2 and now we see that uh, this u can be written as w1 plus w2 by using head to tail rule because this vector is w1 and this vector is w2 uh, actually it is equivalent to w2 and then by head to tail rule u would be equals to w1 plus w2 now what projection theorem states that uh, we can find w1 and w2 that we can find the decompositions of uh, u uh, one is along a i mean this is in the same direction where a goes and another one is orthogonal or perpendicular to a okay for my urdu speaking students i would say that hamare paas ye jo u hai is u ka jo shadow hai wo a ke upar bhi banega 
और ए के परपेंडिकुलर जो दीवार है उसके ऊपर भी इसका शेडो बनेगा ठीक है जो शेडो ए की डायरेक्शन में बनता है उसको हम कह देते हैं डब्ल्यू वन और जो ए के ऊपर परपेंडिकुलर है वो हमारे पास बन जाता है डब्ल्यू टू ठीक है तो नाउ वी वुड नीड टू नो फ्यू थिंग्स बिफोर फाइंडिंग द फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट ऑलरेडी फार्मूला इज रिटर्न फार्मूला इज एक्चुअली डब्ल्यू वन दैट इज प्रोजेक्शन प्रोजेक्शन इज जस्ट शेडो ओके शेडो ऑफ U in direction of A, that is W1. Okay, we just read it like projection of U along A or projection of U in direction of A. This is equals to U dot A over A norm square A. So now let me explain how this formula gets into shape. Okay, now suppose we want to find this W1. Now this W one is a vector, and this W one is in direction of A. Any vector, any vector in direction of A would be some magnitude. Uh, let's name it K. That would be K times A over A norm. Okay, A over A norm is actually unit vector or direction of A. Okay, and this k is actually the magnitude of w one. So, how do we get this w one? Uh, we can just say w one equals to uh, like we here we had the length of this shadow was f cos of theta. I mean this vector then multiplied by cos of theta. Suppose we have an angle of theta over here. Then W would be the same. That is W one. W one. Cos of theta, and that W one would be norm of that. Similar is the case over here. That is, this F is actually the F magnitude or F norm of theta, and this F is also F norm of theta. So. We can write W one. This is the magnitude. This k is W one cos of theta. Okay, and uh, uh, sorry, it's u cos of theta because the vector we are decomposing is a, it's u, not W one. So that would be u magnitude cos of theta. And then we have a magnitude over a norm. Okay. So here we have u cos of theta. So if we look at this formula, u dot a, that would be u norm, a norm, and then cos of theta. Okay. Uh, if we want to find the value of u norm cos of theta, that would be u norm. Cos of theta would be equals to u dot a over u norm. Uh, sorry, a norm. Okay. Uh, this is u norm. This is a norm. Uh, if we want to keep u norm cos of theta, this is being multiplied. It would it would go on the other side and will be divided. So we'll have u norm cos of theta. Would be equals to u dot a over a norm. Okay, so here w one would take the form instead of u norm cos of theta, we will write u dot a over a norm. This is just to replace this. Okay, and then we would have. A over A norm. Okay, so we can just write that W one is nothing but U dot A over A norm squared. A norm squared, and then we have A over here. Okay, uh, I should remove this dot. 
this is u dot a over a norm square a okay this is actually w1 i mean the component of u along a okay so that is the same w1 is projection of u in direction of a and that is u dot a over a norm square a and i have showed the working how do we get this formula okay now for the part which is perpendicular to the vector a that is w2 we can easily find it by this formula if u equals to w1 plus w2 then obviously w2 would be u minus w1 u is known w1 is known we just have to replace the values and the, then we will get the value of w2 and this is written over here that is w2 is equals to u minus w1 and w1 is projection of u in direction of a and that is u minus the same formula over here and so this is the projection theorem in next video i will explain an example uh, where we would complete uh, a question uh, this question where we would have a vector u and a and we will c calculate the vector components of u in direction of a and uh, another component which is perpendicular to a until then allah office